thing I wanted to talk about y'all, the thing I wanted to talk to y'all about um, is reality and like what your definition of reality is. Mm. It don't gotta be the textbook definition, just like what you perceive reality as. What do you think the ether is? You know what that is? Like just the, the, the general collective mm. of, of like knowledge or information? I always saw ether like stuff that's like like happening in the background mm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Even you can't control it kind of thing, but it's just like that's it's like that's, life happening. That's the ether. Yeah. Okay. I had somebody like like some tarot card reader person tell me that they were like, Oh, like your ether, that's like all the stuff that's right here kind of thing. Mm. I was just like, Oh, like so basically like existence almost. So everything surrounding like your your yeah. personal aura, like your sphere. Mm-hmm. Because you know? yeah. I think that each human, like even though we can't see it, like there, there's been, I'm not go. I obviously can't pull up the like specific scientific shit, um, but like people have researched and kind of discovered that like our memories aren't really stored in our brain. Mm-hmm. They're like stored through like, you know, in they they can't find the, the, the specific place. So it's like, it's obviously like a guess, like a hypothesis or whatever, mm. but like, it could possibly be stored like in this bubble, mm. this aura a- around us, you know, and everything that like all the baggage, all everything, is just trapped in that, and then you live in that, which I think is why like you also attract, you know, if you being a negative person or yeah. if you you know dwelling in that, I feel like that you run with you, you go in whatever that color yeah. is and it's gonna pull. Mm-hmm. Pull that shit in. You are what you consume, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that too. Like, I believe that all of our thoughts aren't like just in our brains. Like, they are in a bubble that are connected. That's why if I think something, but I don't even say it, one of you guys is most likely gonna say it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's in that thought bubble. But mm-hmm. I feel like that access isn't just the people around us. I feel like we can give people that access, and it's also just out there. Like, I can just give ideas away just by thinking them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't think our reality is just our thoughts. Like, I believe... Because our thoughts, thoughts most of the time, could just be our ego. And I don't believe ego Mm -hmm. is reality. But I believe that, that like, like reality is obviously different for everyone because it's what you agree to. But I believe that we do live in a universe where there's universal laws and we can use what we were talking about that thought bubble to create our reality mm-hmm. so that's kind of how i look at it <laughs> like yeah. physical mental right and and a divine version yeah it's definitely what you make it you, you know like what you what you choose to you, you know like the things that you perceive that'll start creating the world that you live in yeah uh, i definitely agree with you so. Do you believe that reality is pre-written? I personally do. Yeah. Because uh, I don't really believe in free will. Yeah. Um, I believe that we think we have free will. But I do feel like everything is pre-written. Yeah. Uh, like, for an example, and like th- my bias comes from... Um, I was in hella accidents. Like, hella car accidents. Like, as soon as I moved out here... Me and my son's mom got in an accident. The car flipped like four times and ran into the and like slammed into this hill. We both got out the car, just stood up, and then like another time we was coming back from the Getty. It was a Thundercat show. My car stalled out on on the freeway. Somebody hit me and we spun out and it was like facing oncoming traffic. Shit wouldn't yeah. start. And there was that one time, like a couple years ago, right? We was in your truck. You got. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. It's, but my point with that is like, when it's time for me to go, I'm gonna go. Yeah, you know, like I, I don't feel like I'm in control of that. Yeah. Like, and that's I apply that to everything in my life. Like, Leno definitely don't agree with me on this, but um, I'm just saying, like, like if, if somebody is coming at me with a gun or a knife, like, and they they got that much intent. And so be it. Right. You know, so it's clearly my time to go. 
Yeah. You know, I'm I'm not no weapon owner. Right. I don't really want. Like, You're trying I'm, to fight for your life on that level. Yeah, I'm I'm like. not no like if you want to kill me. Yeah. Go ahead, right you, ahead. You, you yeah. if you think that that's gonna solve something in your life, cool. Yeah. Maybe that's my purpose to just be the thing that solves that, that in yeah. someone's life. You, you know, so be it. Whatever. But like, I just, I just think it's pre written. Now I wouldn't like for that to happen, of course, but like. If it happens, whatever, you, you know, like, yeah. cause the the way I see it, at any point, like, somebody could randomly shoot, or and the bullet could go through a wall or something. Mm. The, the the fuck, like, Final Destination type shit. I could be driving behind a truck. If it's my time to go, the shit go come through the window. What's that Pulp Fiction shit where like Samuel L and um, the one dude? They're getting shot at, and then all the bullets missing. And they're like, "Oh, and dude, Samuel L. Jackson was like, oh, this is all fake because this is all it was a divine intervention or whatever yeah. it's called.' Like, what's what's that? Like, I mean, some people would call it divine intervention, yeah. but then that just goes into what you believe. You could believe that yeah. life is a complete simulation, and it's like, all right, well, this one's supposed to happen because it's fake, right? Right. Or you could be like, God saved me. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like simulation is another word for God. Yes, I, I agree. Yep. It's I feel like both are a tactic to like try to grasp life and make it easier to understand. It's like all right, if I if if none of this is my fault, and I could just be like all right, you thank you for putting me here, thank you for this creator or code or whatever that has me here in this situation and all that. You could think that and it's going. It's going to manifest in, in whatever, you know? And I feel like that's because we live in a society. I don't want to blame anything on society, but I feel like that's because we live in a society where we just need to define everything. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of times we define ancient history and we're like, this is what they're worshiping. This is what they called God. But mm -hmm. we don't know that they called that God. We, right. For all we know, we, they could have just been living and they were illustrating it. And they were just living, right? <laughs> but yeah, but we out. and we right. just say, oh, they they had a water god, they had an air god, they had a fire god. They were wrong. We try to put so many like definitions on stuff. Like, it, I honestly feel like humans shouldn't be trying to define things. That's not <laughs> our job. I feel like our job is to witness. Yeah. yeah, our job is to witness and experience and create. You know, we can attempt to explain, but we I don't think it's our job to like try to define what. The all past, this what is. people were doing in the past like we can't even agree to actually like make all the material open for everybody to look at yeah let alone to you know plan out a future there, that's there should be no reason that there's unaccessible parts of the pyramids in egypt there yeah. should be no reason that any part of history any of these places are unaccessible there should be no mysteries or even continents on the earth it's like the, yeah. It's crazy that, yeah. that Antarctica is the only place we that, cannot yeah, touch. You know. <laughs> oh, who knows? Maybe there's other ones that we're, we're not allowed to that are through, through there or something like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, do, I do feel like something's there and then something's beyond that. Yeah. I think our perspective, so, so this kind of gets in, into my perspective of, of where I think we live. Mm. Um, I don't feel like the universe works the way that we think that it works. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, the the main thing that i believe in is like as above so below mm -hmm. so when you apply that to to everything like at at scale i feel like the universe could simply be inside of god's eye yeah which could be a child in some other universe yeah. or which could be you know this could literally just be like like mm -hmm. horton hears a who the whole yeah. <laughs> world was on that little speck you know we could just be a speck. Men in black shit, the ending when the yeah. aliens are playing marbles. <laughs> the, the beauty of it is we don't know. Yeah. And then also like the other, like for the people that have power, the, the beauty of it is also that we don't know because only a few people can actually experience it. Only mm -hmm. a few people currently can go to space. If you got money, you can. They say the only way we can really like know and I heard this from somewhere that was just like, yo, time traveling, you got to have, you got to have a certain kind of speed and you got to have a human vessel to do it kind mm -hmm. of thing. And mm -hmm. it's just like, it's weird. That's like such a weird concept because it's like, damn, like you got to be alive almost to time travel. You can't, and, and to do that, you probably die kind of thing. Do you guys so, think that people right now are already time traveling? Uh, yeah, it has to be. I do. 
I think like all time is connected. Yeah. Uh, so if somebody in the future figured out how to do it, yeah. that collective knowledge, somebody like it, then it's already been done. Yeah. Do you think with that knowledge or ability to time travel, you could change what you call like the script of what's already going to exist? But who's that time traveler though? Who's that's the person that the, I feel like the is thing, the thing about time traveling, at least to me, like from my perspective and my understanding. Yeah. I feel like people never really factor in time dilation. Um, so if you're traveling in time, yeah. I feel like the rest of the world is going to age at a whole different time yeah. period than, than you thinking. Like you might have traveled, you might think that it's only been like three minutes. Yeah. It might have been like 40 years. Um, I don't feel like there's a way to pinpoint that. It would, and, it, and it would take too much human energy yeah. to try to do that. I recently saw that Buzz Lightyear movie, and like he was kind of trying to do. They were on a, a interstellar kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. he had to travel around the the sun that that was in that solar system to get this crystal up to a certain power. But every time he came back from doing it, because of the time difference, it was four years. Uh, uh, but he thought it was just thirteen, like I think it was like a minute. minute. Yeah, 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 you know. Um, but you know he kept trying it and then like 40 years passed whole civilization like whole different people and everything and it's like i i think time travelers are experiencing that yeah you know like they that must be traveled, like a limbo or but something they might be way in the future you can't yeah. fucking think you're trapped yeah you know you uh you seen the movie mr nobody mm -hmm. oh dude you need to watch that one like that's that's one of like it's about this dude i'm not gonna get too much into it but like he, you, you're special in your own unique way and all that, but like all these alternate universes and shit of you, mm -hmm. they all die some, some kind of way, right? Oh, yeah. But I have friends who believe in like, I don't know if it's like Thai Buddhism or whatever, but like had a homie tell me, he was just like, yo, our, in our religion, basically in order to achieve nirvana, you got to do everything right in your life. And as soon as you do everything right in your life, that's when you become you know what I mean or be enlightened or go into the next like realm whatever the next phase mm -hmm. and he was saying like how humanity we all have to do that we all have to get to that and like it, it's almost like it almost makes me feel like damn dude like that could be like that that, bring, that, that breaks away from how everything's pre-written and all that because it's like okay now we all have a job we all have a mission and shit but it's just like we read this thing about like damn like we all get it right one time, then we all can extend to the next thing. Like, almost like every, no matter if it's even the Bible, you know what I mean? They, yeah. There's something like that, like, oh, okay, right. you know, do this, do this, do this, and you could go to heaven kind of thing. It's just like. I do feel like a soul gets unlimited tries. Yeah. Like us in this, like, current human avatar that we're right yeah. now. Yeah. I don't feel like that body gets multiple tries. Right, but the soul, I feel like, gets like, all right, you didn't, do yeah. you didn't live this way yet? Back to hell. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like we're we're in hell. And miss nobody yeah. in the end of it. He 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 was like the longest living human mm. type shit. And that's, that's when it. that's when he was able to like outlive everybody to the point that he can like go back in time and relive his life and like relive his memories and stop at any place that he want to live at and shit. That that brings up an interesting point. Um, if you had the option to relive your life through memories like if they could make memories like yeah relivable i like, did it like a game i did it dmt <laughs> dmt different for everybody that but wasn't I, that's, my that's why i experienced DMT. though that's it's, hard yeah, yeah it's like a bunch of memories and shit i was like damn like a feeling you know it's like yeah oh would God. you would you like take that offer like to relive like if they could make your memory like, like san junipero mm -hmm. yeah I think I would rather do it through DMT. Yeah. Because Just tap in and because I feel like I know what I would go to. Yeah. Mm. And it's like stuff that I've already dreamed, but I don't choose when I go to them. Yeah. Like sometimes before I go to sleep, I have that feeling like I'm in that dream and I do end up in that dream. Mm -hmm. But like if I had the option to go into the cuz I would probably go into one of those dreams if I had the option. Mm. So yeah, but it depends on what would the, the method was. <laughs> I feel it. Have you have you done DMT? Nah. Ah. 
Okay. That shit is wild. It's wild. Yeah, three times <laughs> in one night, son. <laughs> Straight up. Going gray now because of it. Yeah, oh, my God. I did it through the little pin. Oh, thing. you did it through the dab rig? I, I, so, I've, I've done DMT through the little pin, and then I've also, like, put hella DMT on, like, some weed and, a, a, like, vaporizer. Yeah. And that, that went off. All right. But, like... I hear it was just a bunch of blood. colors and shit. Like, You're, I couldn't really... You got all the fractals and all that. You, yeah. ain't, you ain't leave. No, well, the first time I left. Okay, 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 okay. But I don't know where I went. Yeah, it wasn't you don't one know. Of those. It wasn't like a like I went like something specific was happening. It was just like a quick acid trip. That, yeah. that, that's all it was. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and it might have been like at a low dosage or or whatever. But like I definitely wouldn't move it. Like I like, <laughs> fell, I hit it, like fell over. It was there for like yeah. fifteen minutes. Fucking sleeping. <laughs> like, bro, you know you didn't move, right? Right. W- were you getting epiphanies though? Mm. My perspective kind of already changed, like from the first few times I did acid, mm. and it's it's all like all psychedelics kind of tap back into the same thing. Extreme. Yeah. Yeah. Because for me, every time I experience a psychedelic. <laughs> Like, I get, like, a specific epiphany, mm. like a theme of the day. <laughs> ah. Well, they, they, they tend to do that. You know, they, they, make, they make stuff clear. Mm. I, I mainly use psychedelics for, like, like mental self-work. You know, like, I'll, I'll, like, take a bunch of shrooms or some acid, like, and just be at home in the dark. <laughs> Which sounds, like, weird, but, but I, don't, real. I don't really believe in like, bad trips. It's yeah. just, like psychedelics test you yeah you know they they put you in situations that you need to confront and if you're not ready to confront it of course you're gonna be like it sucks oh my god this is crazy <laughs> like i don't want to get out of this i want to do it like <laughs> duh because you're not ready to deal with nothing mm. you know but like when you know that then fine like i know how i am i know the things that i need to change i know the shit i need to work on yeah not perfect but like they definitely go bring that shit up. Mm. Like, I take too much of a psychedelic, all of the loneliness is going to kick in, yeah. all of the, like, what am I doing with my life, yeah. all the this and that. You got time to think. Yeah, <laughs> but that's good. Yeah. You know, you need to answer these questions. Yeah. You know, you can't, I feel like you can't really move forward if you don't fully have, like, intention with what you're doing. And I think psychedelics help with that. If, if I were to illustrate that for someone... It would be like the angel on your shoulder and the demon on your shoulder turning into one character mm-hmm. mm. and explaining to you like it's not one or the other mm-hmm. like this is this they are the same and it's not even outside of you like you already knew yeah but like now you know even more <laughs> yeah yeah I, I definitely agree with that um just like when you were saying like the angel and the demon because to me angels and demons are, are like there's only angels uh, angels fall and become demons. You, you, you know, like they still have the same powers. They still like. Mm-hmm. So I was I've I've been like researching. Um, fuck, I forgot the the name of it. But like the the steps. Um, first, you gotta like get control or like contact your your guardian angel. But that takes a lot, like like living a certain way, mm. fasting, doing all these specific things. You got to follow all the rules to the T. But then after your guardian angel's there, to actually get control of anything, you got to summon like all of these demons and tame the demons. Mm. And if you fail to tame the demon, then you're kind of just trapped. Then you're like yeah. fucking, you're, like, you're, you're introducing yourself to a demon. You're welcoming demons into your life. Mm. But you need to do that in order like to gain control. Yeah. You know, like I remember we had a, like a talk a long time ago about um, you were saying like how and this comes from like personal shit like because I'm, I grew up in Islam and shit and like we believe in these things called gems mm-hmm. and they're like it's like basically like a frequency Mm -hmm. it can affect you negatively positively whatever yeah and um king solomon he like the whole thing of uh you know like aladdin capturing a genie Mm -hmm. in the bottle he would capture gins into like items and shit and basically have them what is that genie supposed to be a gin 
Hmm. Was that genie supposed to be a genie? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that makes that's, sense. That's like, the whole thing behind it. And um, mm-hmm. we were talking about how <clears throat> basically you were saying like when you have when you, when you when you make music you you capture like a mood or like a setting or like a mind state that you were in mm-hmm. and you put it into a, like a file and like all the energy is in one file and you can just open up whenever and yeah. it, it has so much expression so much emotion and it's just that little file mm-hmm. i feel like that's our interpretation like that's our way like nowadays we that's what we do kind of thing like that's the same shit king solomon was doing in some way you know what i mean it may not be like some evil demon or this figment character that we yeah, can, I mean that that's all perspective yeah 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 you know mm-hmm. what I mean this is like whatever you feel that you know what I mean you can capture it y'all are doing that with art too though yeah same shit yeah, yeah. It, it, all creative things you, you're capturing like yeah. emotion and whenever you're dealing with emotion you, you know like I feel like that's God's work mm-hmm. or, you, you know the, the the whatever the, the creator you, yeah. you know I feel like then you're meddling with with stuff that can actually make differences Mm -hmm. um because like you can like pierce through language you can pierce through culture like with art um and anybody go feel something from Mm -hmm. it like even if you're looking at that picture on the wall you're gonna feel something no matter what language you speak you know what a sunset is right right you know how that feels you know now whether you look at it as like uh after hard after hard work after days whatever that phrase is uh what at the long days of work yeah, or some shit. Some, some <laughs> shit. and then if you look at it like all right i'm relaxing at the beach or if right. you look at it as like maybe that looks like an atomic bomb right maybe they, you know it's, it's the same shit same same colors mm. same you know you depend on it, it could it depend on the person kind of like a rorschach painting I'll, like, i'm i'm so uncultured you don't know what a rorschach painting is? i don't know what shit is Rorschach painting is that uh, it's like a splotch and it's like mm, even. That's what that's called. Yeah, yeah, it's kinda yeah. Kind of like that thingy. Basically, yeah. I didn't know that that was what that was called. So Everybody sees names, like something a little different every time, kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. a psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> that's your real. Those the ink splot thingies. Mm. Yeah. Man. Feel it. So what? How would you? How does it feel? to create like what does it do for you <laughs> you got the floor <clears throat> for me mm-hmm. i do a lot multiple things with it but i feel like i can get things off my chest mm-hmm. tell people things mm-hmm. put things out there that like i could just put them in words but i already have put them in words they didn't get anywhere really right but if i put it on a canvas or if i just put it on a screen I just feel like it's more interesting. <laughs> Wait, what was the question again? Um, just like how creating feels to you. You were answering it. Okay. Just like how, how it feels to you to do it and like why you do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically why. Yeah. Like sometimes, like I don't really have a choice. It's like kind of like a sticky note. Mm. But yeah. I have the ability to just, like well, most of the time when I'm making something, sometimes I do have it envisioned already sometimes i don't like sometimes it's just like like an urge but it's like an aesthetic feeling i feel that like a it sounds Mm. weird but it's kind of like a pleasure like sometimes i feel like there's a direction that my hand needs to make yeah and just sometimes i just need to do it that's not weird like this shit this shit's serious (laughs) (laughs) yeah i felt like the pleasure part sounded weird but no yeah for real like it's it there's there's so much like that goes into creating things there's lust there there's passion there yeah it's transmuting energy yeah Yeah. it's just like you could put anything you know like and i never realized how like big of a deal that was like because like i come from making music and stuff but like in general you're starting with a blank canvas mm. and to somebody that doesn't create it's like bewildering to them it's like how do you do how do you go from this to no. stuff and it's like i don't i don't know you put stuff on the stuff and then it <laughs> turns into the other stuff you know yeah. when they say like you're in tune with the shits i feel like there's the mode where you can get into where you can basically not think of time 
like time does not exist in that realm. Like mm-hmm. there's been times where I'd be painting or drawing or making something where like it all, everything goes away. No matter how many people are in the room, it all goes away in mm-hmm. that space. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is or where it's at, but it's just like that is like a high. It definitely is. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like that made me not want to go outside for multiple months. Yeah. Cause it's like, fuck it dude like no people people that don't like got no passion about yeah. stuff to do like I, I feel bad for people that have never felt that yeah like they're just like you just so lost in the, in the thing mm-hmm. you don't care about what you going can't just on step out of everything you. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like you the time good you don't know what time yeah. it is or nothing. working yeah. with your days away and yeah don't got that moment <laughs> yeah that's a it's a it's a great feeling oh yeah how would you describe the the place that that we're in or that you're in in like in this moment in time in your life shit you can answer that however that that doesn't mean like situation wise for me it's like a balance Mm -hmm. because I can really choose because like I mean it's not every day but half the day I could be feeling like man you know in a blur or whatever seeing straight into the fog but I could also just put on, like, I could just, you know, feel better based on however, whatever I do that makes me feel better. Mm-hmm. And I could live in heaven, literally. Yeah. My states. So, yeah. so, you said, what am I living in? How do you feel about, like, what, what you're living in? Oh, okay. Like, the place that you're in. Yeah, I feel like I'm reaching a point that I was supposed to feel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you know, like... Mm-hmm. Like, you could find a balance, but, like, living in it, like, like I'm in that transition. I feel it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I, like, I, like, I read a book that wasn't a book. It was mm. more so just, like, self-mastery. Mm. And so it's more so just, like, the next step. Like, so, like, I'm, I could say I'm happy, but I'm not, like, SpongeBob happy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel that. You, you kind of, like, when you brought up books, it kind of made me think about, so th- this sounds like super, like, ignorant, I guess, but, like, I personally feel that, like, experience is more, like, experiencing things is more important than, like, because you can, you can read about things all day, and that nothing compares to, to I- experiencing it, like, mm-hmm. so, like, people or, no, try to tell go. me. Huh? order to know you gotta go yeah, yeah. like people tr- oh make sure you read this book and it talks about this and that and it's like but like i've i've came to these same conclusions sitting in the dark by myself mm. so like th- not to knock reading like reading can take you to all these different worlds and stuff but as far as like life books and stuff like that when people turn to books for like how do I live my life? Like it's I, mental masturbation, just, just bro. Figure, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, dude. But you can sit there and just think. Yeah, that's also mental masturbation. Or you can just like, just not think at all. Just clear and, your and mind. Just read, yeah. or, or just 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 be. Just be. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I feel a like lot of people can't do that. Yeah, we gotta constantly know, like try to know something. Yeah, we always trying to solve what's going, what's yeah. going on in my life. What's, yeah. what, what's this? Like, I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Why Man. are you trying to solve it? I just I, enjoy the moment, and yeah. then like things try to piece themselves together. They don't always piece themselves together, but yeah. like I do feel like when you're enjoying yourself, it, it's at least a little bit easier when things don't piece themselves together. So like, cause you're the only person that could piece it back together. Yeah, you know, like I always, I always say that like creating it is like it's, it's really a tax because like it's one of the only situations where like you know people might say oh go get a job and do all this stuff and it's like right, well the only way to be a successful artist is to fully believe in myself yeah because nobody's believing in you path, whereas, like <laughs> right you up. get mad and don't do shit there ain't nothing gonna change no. you, you know it's like it's all on right, you well, fuck, fuck this I'm not gonna do that okay nothing's gonna change mm. you know the only way, even if you think that it's not going to work out, the only way is to do it. You know, ain't nothing going to happen if you don't do it. That's just how I feel about that. Sometimes when I even do consider going back to, like, getting a job, 
like is the last job i had was like delivering some stuff in a van right like mm-hmm. amazon but like sometimes i'll be like I'll, I'll do it again but literally only to go back to where i was going and to like just pass out art dude literally like i'm down to get fired yeah. right. <laughs> so sometimes because like, the last place i was going to was like it was whipping around in beverly hills oh shit. so like Perfect. sometimes i think about just going around and passing around posters and getting paid for the day <laughs> yeah no that like I, I feel like anybody that's working a job right like the only way to be really really successful is to run your own business yeah. exactly because um, you own everything right so I feel like anybody that does, I like, I hate when people take their job seriously. Like that sounds <laughs> dumb, but it's like you you work in retail, bro. Like, why My are dude, you tripping if somebody's stealing something? There was a guy <laughs> like, up in Seattle who uh, got shot. I feel like it was like around five or six I times. Think I heard it. I heard it in his that. leg trying to say some weed. <laughs> oh shit! Maybe I didn't hear about that. Yeah, some dude came in the weed shop, tried to hold everybody up, and some dude tried to save the weed and. Yeah. You trying to say try to say the weed. Bro? That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm like, fuck that, dude. Ain't worth that. They get that shit back. For real. And then if you don't own the shop, fuck that. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about you. Bro, you what they gonna be a play in a month or shit. something? You yeah. better be like, bro, just steal me some too. Yo. I have like the opposite mentality from when I had jobs. Like um, I wouldn't even tell the stories because I know this is gonna go on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> really, go, like yeah. I already forgot about it because there's so many, but like, I don't know. I'd have like the opposite mentality. Like, I would be like, go ahead, you know? Like, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would just be super faded at work because, like, I've only worked retail the, the majority of my life until yeah. like these last two years. Man. But cause I had the like, the the drops that you could put in the food. I, I was like, like, mm. you would be, it smells like weed in here. I'm mm. like, well, you don't know where it's coming from. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I've been dishwashing all my life and shit. That shit, I swear to God, like, Lando said some shit. He was like, man, that's like slavery. And I was like, and I looked at I was like, thinking about it. Anywhere I go, like, you look at who's dishwashing and shit. It's usually some older, older dude. Mm-hmm. And usually a dude of color on some shit, just like, grinding his ass. Last, like, the only guy back there on some shit. And it's just like, I don't know, dude. Like, it, it, it depends on what you what you let happen to it. I've definitely yeah. seen people in them environments that's like it's been forty years Man. since I like God, dude, like, I see that I shit and I see my life. I'd be like, bro, I would kill myself. I'm for literally real if working I just, like, here to make myself. some money to pay for some shit so that I can leave. Straight up, you, you know, that that's my perspective right. of of a job. And let, like recently, I've started like working places that like I actually like. Yeah, you know, like doing like art shit, yeah, like, graphic designs and fashion shit. But like before that, it was just like if I'm working a normal big box job, I'm just there to be faded and talk to people. <laughs> right. like, I'm not about to see you stressed. I get too depressed with that shit, faded. man. Like, like why, why would I? I'm gonna hate my life if I if I'm not faded there. Like, Dude, this <laughs> sucks. I, I don't want nobody to be trying to defend that kind. Con- that shit sucks. sucks. I will just tell the story. <laughs> like I remember one time I was working in the warehouse. Just don't I'm- say the place. Yeah, Man, I, don't even, it, I didn't even know catch the you. place. <laughs> I didn't even know the place. And like um like I'm pretty sure I was already stoned. <laughs> And like I just was like not feeling it, and so mm. I just walked out of the building. I ain't never. And like, that. and my car was kind of far too. Like it was a walk. Like it was a full like ten minute break if I wanted to go back to my car. Mm. It would have been done by the time I got back to my car. Oh shit! But I went anyway while I was getting paid, and I was just went back and smoked, and I was just sitting in there like, like I want to get fired, you know? Mm. <laughs> like I, as bad as it sounds. Or Did whatever. they fire you after that? Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't look at jobs like they're shit anymore man it's just like they don't, they they ain't paying you enough regardless i don't give yeah, a damn they're, they're not they're and then not. they need you they you need, know, they, yeah, yeah. That, that's the way the way i see it like i used to look at it as like i need a job sir um but like after that like now my perspective of it is like well you need somebody to do the shit yeah like you you, you need me this is an, an agreement yeah. this isn't really like a um, less of They'll still hire you if you put bare minimum effort. Yes. All you gotta, all you gotta do is come there yeah, and speak. Just show up. Once I learned that it's just about like 
you talk to the person in the interview. It's not really about all this other shit. And yeah. After that, it was like, okay, this ain't that bad. They're gonna try to get you on with the company policies and yeah. their standards and, and lifestyles then, then and I've, cultures. And then I've shit. always worked places that um, I, either I only have to drug test once or that don't drug test. You yeah. Know, like I used to work for this real estate company, and like my job was to just drive around and deliver bikes to people and clean up houses and shit. I could make beats, I could smoke, I could do whatever the fuck, nobody cared. Like, when they opened the office, they were smoking in the office. Like, <laughs> you, you know, like, <laughs> it, it was never like a, you know, mm. uh, yeah. Yeah, jobs are weird. You uh, ain't got no, <laughs> huh? you ain't got no green? Yeah, a wee bit. I get, I get, give you a nug. Give me a nug. Give you a nug. Give me a good nug. <laughs> this, is, this is a medium so I'm even smaller than this. Word. This is the same that fucking. I picked up the I'm same. I'm to feel the streams and shit. I'm like. I feel the streams. Getting all hot and shit. I feel the streams. Feeling it. So, do either of you feel like it's possible to break reality or break your reality and like <laughs> switch it? Uh, that day I'll go mentally insane and you guys will see me on the streets. Have you ever felt that you were about to go mentally insane? Yeah. I pro- I'm probably prone to do that too. Oh Same. God. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Same. Same. The, these, these psychs have definitely did that to me. Yeah. And I was like, I was on the phone with my mom and I, and I was like, Hey, you know, like when you be seeing them crackheads on the side of the street where they be yelling at each other? I was, that's how I feel, mom. Yeah. yeah. That's you and you talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, straight up, and like, I don't know, like, sometimes, I, sometimes I feel like if I were to do that, I would probably get famous. Yeah. You'd be saying shit that matter, like people would be like wilding out saying some bullshit. Bullshit. But I would probably be, like, what? What do you mean by breaking reality? Like, so I didn't really look at that. I was just giving that that. Like, I don't know why I gave that example, but um, just like a person's ability to like, if they're living in this one reality, do you think that like, because you know like there's multiple dimensions or whatever, yeah. do you feel like it's possible to just like go into the other ones or or just like leave this one, tear through you, you know like you like kind of like the Mickey Mouse when he goes through the uh, mirror. Yeah, and like, like yeah, some, yeah, some yeah, shit yeah, like stuff that. like that. Or yeah. like you hear all these stories of, of people that disappeared, but then like yep. they like they maybe yep. just like happen to move away from this dimension and just they not be aware of it. You know, yeah. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little son. And this I is... do feel that's my biggest fear. I, I feel like at any point in time I might like fall through something, yeah. and then won't be able to get back. Here. Reattached. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Me and my homie up in Seattle, we were literally in a room where there was no light sources, nothing. Like all the blinds, everything blacked out. Mm. It, we blacked all the walls out and all the shit. Woke up one morning. He's on one side of the room, on the other side of the room. We're chilling. Passed me a beer on some shit. And we were just like talking and da 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 da. And like literally, it felt like, like for me, you're right now, like something like right here, like a camera flash flickering, mm. like like a sparkle, like a like a static almost. I mean, and we're we're electric. There was no electric. I said we're electric. Yeah, there was there was no light source. Like what was that? Like we couldn't see it, but we heard it. It was like right behind us. We can kind of see it from the side of our eyes. He was like, "Bro, what the fuck?" And like went over there. He was just like, "Dude, there's nothing. There's no technology. Nothing right here." Like there's certain things where I'm just like, "Dude, like what we know as reality and like." What could happen and what could not happen, I know for a fact. We don't know how, like... Yeah, yeah. There's so much shit that we Yeah, there can be something right now that just pops up and we just be like, what the fuck? There, there's stuff that, like, in a couple of... Maybe not a couple of years. Maybe, like, 10 or 20 years. I feel like humans are going to be, like... Because, like, everything's, like, written off as, like, oh, that's just some spirit right. stuff that no one's going to research. But, like, once, like... Sp- like spirit realm research it is like except that I was looking for a lighter oh, earlier. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where the shit is. Got it's on the keys. It's on your keys. Um but but yeah, once that's like properly accepted or like natural science and things like that, yeah. I feel like there's just so much more we're gonna tap into. 
there's all this stuff that we try to define with numbers and math. And even though, yeah, I feel like you can define a lot with numbers and math. I feel like our ability to understand those numbers in math are limited by like textbook knowledge. Because we discovered math, bro. We didn't invent it. Right. <laughs> you know. How do you how do you feel about the um, so you you mentioned like di discovering instead of inventing, right? Yeah. Um, is anything ever invented? No, I don't believe yeah. anything. I don't believe anything's original idea. I believe that I everything I draw, everything, all my concepts is from somewhere at some point, or I tapped into like a stream that has already been replicated. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's that that those streams are already there, kind of thing, mm -hmm. and they're just dropping on our heads, kind of thing, like a beak. You know what I mean? Like with like a little, little drop of it, and we just gain from it, gain from it, and whatever we're into or whatever. You desire like like colors whatever yeah it's from those sources and shit yeah i kind of I agree yeah. I, I i don't think anything can be like created but i do feel like every individual person has their own like no one else can do that thing their way right so like even if a million people were to draw a line i feel like every line is gonna have a slightly different character yeah and you know? It's like that snowflake shit, you know what I mean? Like how every snowflake doesn't even look the same kind of shit. It's like, it, or like our fingerprints and all that shit. Like, yeah, we're all unique. We all have like our code that's like different mm -hmm. from everybody else. But it's like, it's really all the same though. Right. Because we're, you know what I mean? Human, human, snowflakes. It's all the same. Like, mm -hmm. but it's like slightly different by, like you said, like a line kind of thing. It's crazy. You want to hit or? I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm, right, I don't use that lighter though. Actually. Huh? I don't use that lighter. Oh, you gonna use lighter right, for sure? Yeah, I'm definitely. They they creeping up. They they creeping up on me. I'm definitely creeping up. What the fuck was that? <laughs> the hell? Fancy boy. Magician. That was like you could do that like as many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, you, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> you can <laughs> practice that shit. <laughs> I'd be in my room just. He's like, all right, this, this shit cool, what? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was free meditate, trust me. That was funny. That's funny as hell. I forgot what I asked him. Do you remember what I asked you? Oh, uh, you asked me um, original ideas. How do you feel about that? Do you yeah. think anything can be uh, created? I feel like what we do create has been created, but not exactly the same, like how you were saying about the straight line. Mm. Like our perception is unique, but it could be just streaming the same thing. Mm. You know, like maybe all of us are supposed to stream the same thing, but not be like, Hey everybody, this is what the stream is. Yeah. Maybe we're supposed to just experience it, mm -hmm. you know, but we're in a reality where we're creating things to be like, this is what we created. Yeah. I created it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a license it. Ownership. <laughs> Ownership, 100%. Like, I own this. That's ego, too, behind that, because it's like, I don't know. Like, I, I personally believe that you're not you. I'm not me. You're not you. You. You're a hotel of micro cells to make you. Your whole but, universe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that horn in here is. Well, that's why it's called the universe. Yeah. This is you. But we claim it, though. We claim it to be like, yeah, man, this is all me, bro. It's like, fuck it. I mean, but collectively, if you, if you want to speak at for the collective of your body, yeah. technically you could say this is all you. I mean, is it you or is it like your mom and your dad or your parents and your ancestors just passing down that DNA <laughs> that yeah, shit and you got hit with a it? And like, coagulation of yeah. uh, just stuff. Yeah. So like what ideas and your thoughts in your head, like what, well, how much is that really like your experiences? And like, that's what I'm saying. Like deja vu and all that shit, dude. I feel like that's like shit from the past, dude. Mm -hmm. Like straight mm -hmm. up. Like we can't, I don't know. So you guys think that our, car our karma that we experience could even come from past lives? Yeah. Like before. Yeah. I, yeah, I definitely think we carry our parents. Generational curses and shit. That's mm -hmm. like, that's when so do you think that our experience is supposed to break those traumas for the, so our next generation could do whatever they want? I think or our experience, experience, I don't know. I think we're tested 
to do that, but mm-hmm. everybody don't pass those tests. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody has the opportunities to break those those things. That that don't mean that they gonna necessarily brings, do it. Brings back to that Buddha, uh, that Thai Buddhism thing I was thinking about. How you mm-hmm. gotta achieve nirvana, you gotta do everything mm-hmm. right, kind of thing. Yeah. And that's like, you know, what I mean, you're born this life, all these like tests and wires on you and shit. And it's just like, are you really gonna live life with all these wires to the mean, like not the mean, but like to determine what you are type shit? Or are you gonna mm-hmm. like rip them off? Not really, not think about them, but like you know what I mean. Don't let them define you. Don't. Let all the shit in the past get to you and all that shit. Don't let your thoughts in your head get to you kind of shit. And just, like, be free, free. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even even some of the strongest people, you like, asking them to do that, like, to let go. Yeah. People can't let go. They can't let go. Like, like just, just think about, like, so I, I brought up place earlier, but, like, the, the thing that made me think of that is, like, you could have one person that, that grows up in like super rich neighborhood yeah and whatever um they live in the, the in this bubble of like all right i go to the country club i go to this and that's their whole environment so everything that happens in that world means the world and then they don't have no desire to leave that that world mm. you could also have somebody who's dealing with the same like i i i, I would consider it like a, a mental uh, situation i guess but like you have somebody that's living in like a super like low income area that that's in a gang or whatever and it's like it's really like no nah, like my street I rep my street mm-hmm. and it's like your world is a street mm-hmm. you, you, you know it's like your whole work and, and it's like if you don't got the perspective to go to the next street mm-hmm. or to go to the next city then like you no matter what lifestyle you mm-hmm. live that, that you're trapped in that bubble I personally <laughs> The that the person in the suburbs and that dude in the streets and anybody else in the world that person across the view neighbors everybody type shit everybody shit affects each other mm-hmm. like I don't know if you ever seen an anime called Paranoid Agent sounds familiar it's, it was like back a long time ago like it used to come on Adult Swim but you see that like yeah um it was basically like this shit called mass psychosis and like how like what affects me on my daily yeah, like a, like a simple little lie can go around and affect everybody kind of thing from like way way across the street kind of thing like we're all affected by it just because i told a white lie you know what i mean like it's like i don't know where i'm really going with this but <laughs> i feel like i don't know like you say like the guy from the hood and the 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 white dude out in the suburbs on some shit See, you add an add in the race, huh? My bad, my bad, bad, bro. I'm just color. <laughs> man, I'm saying, man, you you know who we talk about though. Join the gang. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, no. So 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 being being from the south. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see black people in gangs, but y'all see white people in gangs, yeah, you yeah. see Hispanic people in gangs, some Asian people in gangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like not only in the south, but like yeah, yeah. other places and, and, and shit like in this city right here. Yeah. yeah. California, one of the like yeah. most like. My bad for putting color on it. My bad, my bad. But everyone's you know. perspective is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing to apologize about. But I believe that I don't know, like even those two perspectives and those opposite ends of the shits, they all affect each other in some mm-hmm. way. They you do. know what I mean? They do. And it's like you'd be. I don't know. I feel like we'd be real surprised how parallel all of it is, kind of shit. Everybody feeling the same emotion. Yeah. You know, like, I feel like a human can only feel a handful of emotions. Yeah. You could dress it up with whatever lifestyle, but like, you feel the same culture, shit. background, everybody get sad, skins. everybody fall in love, everybody yeah. get mad about something. Yeah. Not You're gonna really feel like a getting mad stub about. your toe in the foot on the wall. You yeah. feel that. Everybody yeah. feel the same. Everybody bleed the same. Right. That's yeah. fact. What what color would you want your blood to be if you could choose? Like if you was like a, 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 a like platinum avatar platinum. No, blood? No. <laughs> no. The well, first one that comes to me is green. green. And it's not because of microphone. Alien and predator looking ass. <laughs> no, I just think like I don't know. Like I feel like it's as natural as possible. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my, not like green. I'm talking about myself already. So yeah. like green is, makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, 
Probably. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to hit y'all with one. Clear. Clear? Yeah. Clear's the best color. That's what I used to tell people when I was a kid. I was like, What's your favorite? Clear, is clear, my clear favorite my favorite color, color boy. And they're like, Oh shit. <laughs> oh, you different. Clear's not. He's going to be like, gonna, be like gonna be an artist. <laughs> they're like, Clear's not a color. Da, 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 da. I was like, Bro. It oh, is. They're trying to tell me clear's not a color. I mean, when you close your eyes, what do you see? Like, anybody could say black, but it's like, Is it what? I don't know. What is black? Well, that's what I'm saying. If you look at what black really is, dude, black it's is, all the colors. Everything. Mixing one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And isn't white the absence? Of it's the absent. Yeah. Black is technically infinity, and white is technically uh, zero. Type shit. It's like the same. Mm-hmm. Makes like, sense. Yeah. Like, Everything and nothing. Like black is a collection of them. Yeah. yeah. Wow. When you blend any color, like any few colors together. You Everything in between is all the volumes and mm-hmm. yeah. So, speak speaking of that, that, that like kind of brings me to like just like the. The spectrum of what a human eye can see. Shit. Uh, I don't feel like the world is limited to that spectrum. You think there's more colors out there? Like, Not colors. Like every everything is a frequency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we don't see the blanket of Wi Fi that we're in. Mm. We don't see the you know, the blanket of like radiation from the phone. Mm. We don't we don't see all that. But it's there. It's, it's there. still a frequency. Yeah. If we could see those things it would probably be like we're living in a brick wall yeah Yeah, 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 you know what i'm saying um so like i i think that there's there's a lot more beyond oh yeah you know um and and maybe there's angels demons that are visible yeah you you know that you just we're not meant to see those there's a lot that we're not meant to see and i feel like it's we're kind of overstepping when we try to see things that we're not meant to see (laughs) you know Like people get scared. I, I feel like when you're not meant to tap into certain stuff, like yeah. humans are not made for everything. Yeah. You know, now if you figure out how to tap into stuff not from your human body, you know, maybe there's a way to do that. But like, I feel like that takes so much obedience and so much living a certain way and, and all the doing all the shit the right mm. way and all that. Um, I feel like I could see more than what everyone else sees. Like, sometimes I see motions that aren't mm. that everybody else in the room is going to see, so I just don't bring it up, you know? But I don't see, like, I don't think I see s- spirits, but I have seen one before and didn't say anything, and the next day someone told me they seen the same thing mm. and the same motion, same spot and everything. Mm. But I also feel like I do sometimes do see the radioactive stuff. Bro, I know it's like more now than ever. I was like, I don't know what it is. I'm not trying to be like, bro, it's 5G. It's it's just radiation. Every time there's like a phone near me or like a car d- drives by or if I'm in a train or whatever, I hear like this ringing noise in my you ear. You can especially hear out, out here. We we react to it. Yeah. Um, some people choose not to, it, it, so not to it, you know, but we react to it because there there is a is a frequency that like. Every time, so I don't, I don't know if people realize this, but like every, like especially with these new, this shit did, uh, <laughs> with these newer phones, every time you pre- like, there's like hella beams of light that are like yeah. thrown on your face, like instantly. Yeah. Anytime a call comes into your phone, it, it's like your phone is always seeking for mm-hmm. like service. So it's like constantly putting out like a call and response. It's like reaching out to get that response. Yeah. Um, you know, so like shit is happening, you know, and even I just, I just don't like the, the lack of like openness about it because like there's stuff of, like whenever you buy any phone, like you're technically supposed to have it like this far f- away from your body at all times. For you're real? never supposed to put a phone next to your head. For real? It's highly recommended that you never do that. What? I don't just got my headphones. It's not meant, to, you, you know, like you're all that. All of that stuff is being yeah. beamed into your brain. Yeah. Bro. It kind of takes like a personal realization to the point where you're like, wait, I'm putting wires in my head. Yeah. Like when you, when you stop calling them earphones and you realize you're putting wires in your head, mm. you kind of have to step out of your, the stuff. Well, for me, like I had to be like, what if a native or, or just a person from a f- past civilization before these were invented 
just seeing people walking around with wires in their head. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's weird. It's they, like, it'd be common like? sense that you're putting radiation into mm -hmm. your brain when they're both wireless on each side of your head and stuff, you know? But no one thinks about that. It's just like, I want to enjoy my convenience. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I get it. I got wireless. But that's what you give I up, though. This shit. But you pick your vices. You yeah. pick where you're going, you, you know? Mm. Like, as long as you know. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know? Like, <laughs> we, we all fucking up our bodies in, in, in general yeah. at all times some kind of way yeah like as long as you're aware of the shit you know then you could choose to do it or not but yeah phones phones are weird phones, phones are, are definitely weird, weird. <laughs> um, and then do you, you you know how 5g works right i i i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like i do <laughs> so it, like there's multiple versions of 5g yeah. um uh, T-Mobile has one that, that it's, it's essentially 4G okay. but like slightly faster not really that's 5G, what I got but same but the actual 5G that they try to sell you on um, which we're not there yet they're trying to say that, that, that we're there yet but a 5G reception a proper 5G reception uses beam pointing and what's the fuck so you need to be in a clear line of sight of a box that transmits that signal if you are, then you'll get ridiculously fast everything. But if a wall is in front of you, if it rains, if anything, it cuts that signal out. So, like, we're releasing all these phones that are, like, seeking constantly for the... I feel like the problem is the phone's constantly seeking. You know, like, when they cannot receive this reception all the time, it needs to be in a clear line of sight to mm. get to that phone. So it's like everybody's trying to get you to turn on the 5G on you. Because you can turn it off. You can switch it back to LTE and all right, that right, stuff. Right, 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 right. But like, not to say that it's it's better. You know, it just needs to be researched. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. like there, there's just not, like, there's so much need. Like, we've gotten to a point, like, as humans, where, like, we progress, 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 progress. But we don't know the other end of the side like, effects and all that shit. No, no looking into how is this affecting humans. Yeah. You know, it's like, yes, progress. Yes, we want to keep moving forward. But research how this is affecting the planet. Yeah. Research how this is affecting people. Yeah. And let's find a middle ground. Like, if we need to have, like, a park or, like, cities where, like, you go to to use high speed internet then cool or if we need all living spaces to be layered with protection from that then cool let's make that you know not mm. not run away from technology i feel like that's never the answer but like use it and plan around the the, the negative sides of it because there will be negatives all mm. the time no but no matter what you do you just treat all sides of it and it's like really disappointing that we mm. don't do that I look at 5G as like, well, now I do, but like access to have like, like how like the Pokemon Go stuff is. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that's how, like where it's going, right? Like the point of it is like to be able to see stuff in front of us, mm -hmm. like digitally yeah. in the air. Yeah. I feel like that's the, that's what I think of now. The, mm -hmm. the like, point is like the speed so that that'll yeah. give us that ability. What's that going to do with, um, what's that going to be to um, surveillance? See, no, that's that, that that's part. the thing that they, that they hope you don't ask yeah because what they could sell you on is oh now we could do remote surgery because the connection is so fast now mm -hmm. we could do facial recognition oh, all all this, that but shit. don't ask about yeah. that you, you, you <laughs> yeah. like, don't talk about all that <laughs> but meanwhile we have like hundred something megapixel cameras that can see your face from space and all yeah. this stuff don't ask about none of yeah. that <laughs> Like you know, we think like what what that photo just taking a photo of somebody like what that would do to them yeah that's and, what i'm just like bro everything's stored in the cloud we yeah. already give our faces and our fingerprints yeah. to corporations yeah like what's, what's the point of being human at, at any any point now you're just a number you're, yeah, yeah. you're just a, like a, a, you didn't we've signed away everything i remember we was talking about yeah. how you said you were like oh like you know what i mean we're gonna get to a point where everybody's gonna have everything but own nothing mess with her, like subscriptions yeah, and the, all the that great reset uh, yeah type, type i shit. feel like we're there with the subscriptions and all that shit like you go to anybody's home there's usually just yeah they don't got cds don't we're, got we're we're there i don't think that it's sustainable yeah 
you know um because I, i'm surprised that that we've like we bought into this yeah like but is that we, good we for humanity to have, like though. 50 subscriptions but is that good for us though because like making everything subscription not based? making everything subscription but i'm just saying from my my experience of the past three days like just to have everything on me kind of shit mm. just to, like all my like i feel like i don't know man like once you start owning shit it'll start owning you you know what I mean? I, I, I disagree. Owner ownership comes with um, not ownership, but like um things you keep in your life. Yeah, like yeah, that, that's that's what stuff. I mean by ownership. Like your like, stuff will will own like it will own you one day. I, I still still disagree. You don't believe that? Uh, just because ownership comes with problems. Yeah. Own ownership comes with if you lose it, yeah. then it's gone. Right, right. You know, but when you give up those rights to like, yeah, okay, I'll pay for this service yeah. to store it wherever, you get lots of benefits. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's great for that. But you don't think the people in charge don't know that, though? Like, okay. Yes, like, they know that. That's why it exists. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like, they're like, okay, like, people are fed up to like own all of the shit and like, how can we make this move that they don't have to own anything, but they'll still be happy kind of thing. Like, and that's like, I don't know. That's you talk about like Buddhism and all that shit. Like to really like just let go and not having, like, yeah. I feel like it's like, that's they're, like, they're, the, they're forgetting in the equation that you need to make money. Exactly. Exactly. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine <laughs> with that. If you're giving me money, money. Yeah. If it's for free or like a discounted, like yeah. fucking affordable thing. Yeah. Like, like, you know, cause you could, you could, um, subscribe to get a MacBook. Mm. You can subscribe to get anything. Mm. Uh, you know, like which is crazy, but like that does lower the barrier of entry. But then that's just making more people in debt. You know, like can't survive off every. Well, businesses can survive off of us being in debt. Mm. But you know that works into <laughs> the fully capitalist society. They want. Yeah. You know, like you can't. You. The way that it's set up now, you can't break away from it. Like, you need everyone to break away from it at one time. Yeah. Like, you can't try to sell people. Like, you can't try to tell people, like, hey, okay, I make music or I make art. Come buy it on my website. Do yeah, bro, you can't be that. a cowboy no more. You can't yeah. just be solo. And, and it's just... like, but, 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 nah, like, I got Spotify. Yeah. Is it on, is yeah, it on I get Spotify? a corporate. You know, like, yeah. put it on Spotify, even though it's not making yeah. you no know, money. It's like, put it on there. That's the only people going to hear. I forgot who we had a conversation with this with, but, like, I think you were there, but it was just like some shit where it's just like, how do you make money off your art without a 30% fee taken out? anywhere you can't that's you can't you can't art art has and then and then the crazy thing about art is like we've sold society on like art should be free right <laughs> right that and bullshit it's like, i, like. I kind of agree to a certain extent but like that doesn't how do you how do you facilitate the creation of art if art should be free you know like mm. how do you create a situation where artists can sustain themselves if art is supposed to be free yeah like it just doesn't match up like you want yeah. art to be free but then like the I, people that make the art need to live yeah you know like, I, I feel like even if we go back to like if money wasn't even a thing we still go back to trades people will still value their art enough to be like hey man i'll trade this for this yeah you know yeah. what i mean like that i don't know the whole we, thing we've been taught to value it less yeah i don't think anything is valued that's free mm. right I mean, who was the guy from Napster? <laughs> he, he figured a way, didn't he? Though. I mean, he tried to, or or the team, or whatever. They they tried to to pitch it to the major labels. Yeah. Like it, and they turned it down. <laughs> like imagine being like, "This is about to be the future," but of course they're gonna laugh at you. Like mm. there, there's this like quote of when the first iPhone came out. The owner of BlackBerry was like, "Nobody's gonna want a phone without buttons." Right. The fuck, people love buttons. Right. Clearly not the case. No nope. <laughs> BlackBerry's on the water. You know, same with Blockbuster. Netflix tried to approach Blockbuster. Yeah. You, you get with it or you whatever. You know what were you about to say? My bad. Wait, what, what were we talking about again? I I lost it. I was like just talking. Oh well, we're talking. Well, I was thinking about how nothing. 
I don't know. I feel like stuff is valued when it's mm, right, more right. energy. Because what money really is is a transfer of energy, right? Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. if Everybody I say I put, I put like so that. much energy into this, that's why I'm going to raise the, the value of mm. it. Yeah. You know? Because price is just a number, but the value to you, like, you can, even if you tell me the price that I that I put on it, even if at, the, at that point when I'm like, all right, the price is here to me, but I still value it more, so the price isn't enough to me anymore. The price is up now. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's that, up to that's the artist. That's I think is. I think it's weird to question artists like about price. Mm-hmm. You know, they tell you the price, and then that's that. You know, you can yeah. decide to pay it or yeah, not. Fuck you, pay me. Yeah, because there, there was one person that that I like really fucked with, and they like they they like told me it, it was it was a certain price, and then like I got there, and like you know it was a different price when I mm. got there. And it's like, I'm not going to argue with you about that. Mm. You know, it's like, it's what you think that it is. If I already said that I'm going to buy it, I need to figure it out. Mm. You know, if I still want the shit, I got to figure it out if mm. I want to buy it. You know, like, because as an artist, you set the price. Yeah. You mm. know, like, I feel like it should be like that for all forms of, of, of media. Yeah, yeah. Now, I do feel like people should be able to see art for free or, you know. Witness to, it. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, listen to music. Yeah. Like I, I, I think listening to music should be free as well right, like, yeah. as an artist. I don't like to go against what I said. I don't think because say I'm selling paintings only for a certain high price. I don't think that people that can't afford to pay that price shouldn't be able to buy my paintings. Mm. If they can't afford that, I would give it to them for free. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And it's like, but that's the artist's decision. Because I, be I wouldn't free. charge anything. I wouldn't charge you for something that I wouldn't do for free, you know? Mm. Like, I'm not going to just be like, all right, I make houses now, you know? But I'm not going to be able to give any of those away. Like, it's something I'm passionate about, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's why, like, the passion comes in hand, I guess. Yeah, that's, right. that's a good point. Imagine, that's like, a good point. being in an age where you won't have to make money off your art kind of thing, and money ain't, like, a, like a factor. And you just create whatever whenever i'm trying to facilitate that for my son i don't want him to have to worry about money that like, mean i gotta figure this shit out though yeah mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that, that sounds like that's like that sounds like heaven that's the, that's the shit, dream. you know what i mean yeah. like I, I honestly feel like like there there should be like you, you know there, there's all these like college funds and shit like i, I read somewhere that i don't know if they still do it but in canada they used to be awarded and, and i could be all the way the fuck wrong um but like like they used to award grants for people that wanted to make music or yeah. people that wanted to do Artist art and, and stuff. Yeah. And, and it's like, I ain't never heard that shit out here. No, no, they're like, fuck you. Even if it exists, they don't talk about they it. They don't talk about it. Like I've heard professors when I was in school laugh when it was like the day after the scholarships. Oh, and they were like, God. hey, none of you guys applied for it. So, oh, so one God. person won all of them because they actually applied. It was like, well, you never promoted it. Exactly. So yeah, like, yeah, there is stuff out there. Mm-hmm. You got not saying everybody has access to it, yeah, exactly. right, but, it's, right. but it's yeah. possible that there's stuff out there. So they definitely it, be gatekeeping. Like yeah. some people, it's like just to get the. It's a very much who you know situation. Yeah, like, you got to meet which the right is, guy who can get trash. you in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. all creative industries though. But I feel like if you were to just be like, I'm not gonna do anything but make art. I'm gonna sacrifice. If if you want to make art, I'm gonna sacrifice this specific time gonna be broke whatever mm-hmm. just gonna do art and that's only if you don't have specific responsibilities right but like i feel like anybody can for a specific amount of time with faith you know what i mean key that's a key <laughs> and, like i don't know i mean that's my whole Everybody thing has a different situation though mm-hmm. if if you ain't, if the money ain't coming in we just still be doing this like that's my whole like that's 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 the true test yeah you know there, there's a lot of times this year where i did a lot like spent like hours and hours and they make no money off the shit yeah you know like a lot of people not willing to do that yeah, yeah. you know that's what i mean by that it's rejection and yeah. a lot of like just not having that i feel like a lot of people having like a like a superstar expectation with a lot of shit like okay like i'm gonna do this then i'm gonna blow up and it's like nah dude you're gonna keep doing that for like yeah. over and over and, and then over for some people it just, it just work out yeah and it's like there's nothing wrong with that yeah it's like skateboarding you yeah, know what everybody i mean everybody do a kickflip and not land it the first time type shit and like the cheesy oh you get it right and yeah man take four is it 409 the cleaning spray 
409 tries to make that goddamn formula like i do believe that there is a, a blueprint though yeah mm-hmm. i feel like if, you, if you did shoot the blueprint to anybody then anybody can oh yeah make it to superstar mode yeah mm-hmm. There's definitely paths and, and cheat codes. You yeah. brought up skateboarding. I think skateboarding is one of the most, like, essential, like, training and, like, life lesson tools. It's mental. In, yeah. Like, it's I mental. remember days, yeah. weeks, m- months yeah. trying trying to do one trick. Yeah. It's like riding a bike. Every, like, learn how to ride a bike every yeah. day. Like, this match is, like square one use oh shit I gotta and then if you think bike. about it like it's almost insanity it, yeah. it's like all right i'm about to go out yeah. to either these stairs or yeah. this one small ass yeah. curb and i'm gonna spend my whole, whole day trying day. to do one thing whole day <laughs> i do i do i look back on my whole life and was just like dude like if i wasn't skating or making art i swear to god like i don't know what people would do like other than the shit i'm into mm. i don't know what people do on the free time like that's just like when I don't have those things in my it's usually like, oh if I can't skate, I'll just make smart. If I can't if I'm not inspired to make smart, I'll go skate. It's just like you know what I mean, it's two yeah. things I bounce off of. But mm-hmm. like I always wonder like if I took all that away, what would be the thing I'll be trying to you know, what is that? Like the yeah. the obsession of trying to get good or to keep doing this and like Right. You know? I yeah, don't know. that's a weird situation. I've never I've never been I've that's my I never whole... dared to even put myself <laughs> in that situation. Yeah, I feel like that's a personality type in some way because like people who are skaters, they're like kind of like that in their whole shits. Like everything's like a all oh, shit. Like I gotta obsessively do this, do this, do this until mm-hmm. it's like perfect kind mm-hmm. of thing. It's like I don't know. Like people who are like fucking golfers and shit. Like it take the same mental, same, you know? Yeah. Like even though people that do separate things can't see that. Right, right. You know, somebody so, that golfs is not going to talk to nobody that skateboard. But they do. Or there was a point in time where they wouldn't. Maybe it, now they it wouldn't. It's, it's, like, it's like the thing because it's like golf is almost like similar to skateboarding because it's like it's all you. It's you against you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that's the that's weird part about it. It's just like there's no. Sports in general. Like they, yeah. they take mental training. Yeah, yeah. You know? And like you got to learn the blueprint. Yeah. You, know, you can't. You not just go. Yeah. And then, like, even if you know the blueprint, you got to make your body do it. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to, to Leno about that. Like, once he started, like, doing vocals, like, as an artist, I was, yeah. like, he was talking all, all the, like, trying to tell all the, and, like, he's really good with trying to tell artists, like, how to, like, you know, figure out the, the, the pocket that they're in and everything. Mm-hmm. But, like, when you got to do it yourself, when you know what you're supposed to do in your head, but you can't make your body do it, that's the most frustrating thing ever. Yeah. You know, it's like you'll really start hating yourself. Yeah. It's like, I know what I need to do. I can't do it. Yeah. Like, you know, my legs won't do it if I'm skateboarding. My hands won't yeah. do it if I'm trying to play it on keyboard. Like, it's, it's the, the worst, worst feeling. It's you, the worst you know? feeling, though, but it's just like, sometimes, like, I understand that, but it's just like, I feel like, if you can think of something, if you can think of it, you can probably do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You just got to be willing to keep trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, yeah. But this is like, if you can think of it and do it, then, like, all the barriers that run into you in between them, mm-hmm. like, all the mental blocks and shit, like, those things kind of, like, it... I feel like there's like that. It's like a mirror almost. It's like you kind of just see like, oh damn, I'm not, I'm not too good at this because I haven't been working on this part type shit. Like mm-hmm. if I can't like, I don't know, like, fucking shade well, why I haven't been shade well? Because I haven't been practicing shading. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just mm-hmm. like, I don't know. It's just, it's everything is like a mirror. Almost. Yeah. Like, yeah. Those those things you brought up to me are, I kind of brought up earlier about like shifting realities. I think that those decision points yeah. are like points that shift, you know, like, because when you know what you need to do and then you make the choice to either do it or not, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, all right, if I want to get better at shading, I need to shade. Right. I need to do it to do right. it. If I don't do it, my path is going to not move. Is you know, that- I'm going to just go the same way. Like, if I want to do the next thing, I got to yeah. do this. Yeah. You know, it's like. Even if you're sitting here 
praying mm -hmm. to get the thing done, it's still not gonna change nothing. It's not gonna change shit. You know, like you could pray for the confidence. Yeah, you pray for confidence to, all day, you know, but you can't land that trip. You can't land that trip. Right. You know, like it's just. You can, you can pray <laughs> for like the motivation to keep yourself going, right. to keep trying. But that shit that helps though. Praying helps. I don't give a damn. It, it, it does help. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. gotta do it like for the right shit. Yeah, yeah. I feel like people be wasting time. Mm -hmm. Like solve this problem for me. Yeah. What the yeah, fuck? Solving yourself, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> give me the strength to solve my own damn problem. Yo. Like some some shit like that. Um, what would either of you define as and this is like back on the reality shit but like how would you define something as real say again how would you define something as real oh shit like even though like we're touching well, i'm touching this table yeah i only consider things real when i look at them because the reality is that like behind like everything behind me is uncertain it's only there because you have eyes and can witness it. The moment that everything, the moment that somebody cannot witness something, I feel like it doesn't exist. Hmm. Because everything is moving at all yeah. times. Every atom in this table is still moving. Yeah. It's moving very slowly. Very slow. So yeah, yeah. It's yeah, still yeah. moving. Yeah. You know, so it has to decide to be a table. You, 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 you look like you got some shit in your head. You gotta say it, bro. Say it. Say it. Come on. It's, it's very basic. Man. All right. There's, there's no basic. I don't think anything is fake. Like, I feel like everything is real. Mm -hmm. And if we're thinking of something that is completely, like, animated, like, we haven't seen it in this physical world, we thought about it because it exists somewhere. Yeah. Superman yeah. exists somewhere. That's why we that thought about it. That comes from something. Like... I feel like when someone says, like, this water isn't real, like, well, how come I can see it? It looks real to me. Like, I feel like nothing is not real, but we just need an opposite for everything. Yeah. I feel that. But I, even when, when you said that, like, you said, like, how come it's real if I can see it? I feel like seeing it makes it real. Yeah. Or feeling it. You know. I can even hear it. The moment that <laughs> any person sees or feels it, it mm -hmm. has no choice but to be real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if no one's looking at it. And if no one sees or feels it, then it's not beckoned to to be like you know it it's not it doesn't have a job yet. Yeah. You know it hasn't been assigned to think. Um. And I think like your memory, like when you like when I turn around, I feel like the walls there because I remember the walls. Mm. If I didn't know how to use that part of my brain, I'd, maybe I'd fall through the wall. I I don't I don't know. You said reality, like what is reality? And like you saying what's real and shit? Like literally, like everything we can really see is like this. So anything in the back of our heads we can't really see. Mm -hmm. um, if you play like video games or whatever, you see how they like. You ever play GTA or Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and you go so fast, and like the game is like trying to load up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I just got. Fireworks. But yeah, it's it's fireworks. Oh, okay, July. I was gonna be like, damn, somebody got fucked up. It's almost the Fourth of July. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, them some ass fireworks. For real, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> damn, I can't even talk right about that. <laughs> um, when the game loads <laughs> up, it's probably when the Roman candle shit. Yeah, yeah, when the game loads up, you know how like you can see kind of like everything in like block form and mm -hmm. shit um we see it there, everything in block form i feel like that's like kind of like how we perceive everything that's not in the room kind of thing like everything that's going on outside is like we can't we're not there to like witness it or anything so who knows if it's like really like in, intact yeah you know what i mean like loaded up so like that's i feel like that's like Kind of like how we like probably was thinking like at one point in humanity, like like early humans, like we were probably like, okay, everything in this room is everything in this room. So like anything far off out there probably doesn't exist yet. You know what I mean? Like people who didn't even know like if fucking America exists from Africa type shit. You know what I mean? They right, look out right. the water, they're like, man, shh, I don't know if there's any land loaded up over there, but shit, like it might be. You, you know what I mean? So it's just like. I don't know. It's just that, like that. That's definitely. I feel like the video game analogy is is a really good one. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, 
Just because I, I do think that reality works like that. But of, of course, I feel like everyone's reality is whatever they make it. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, like the procedural loading in of things. I, yeah. I, I do feel like it, it works like that. Like, it's like a database of, of, of shit yeah. has to be pulled. You With know. The Big Bang, whatever you want to call it, like infinite yeah, loading yeah. space and shit. Or, you know what I mean? Or, like, yeah. And like that information has to be recalled. 